Welcome to another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Hour of Power. My name is Mr. 2020, and let's turn. All right, today we do not have Victoria in the studio or at home, which is the same place. Uh, this is where she should be sitting, also with Emmett. Emmett's all curled up in his bed, so uh, we're just going to dive in with, uh, with me today. So let's uh, take care of our housekeeping while everybody tunes in and joins us. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, because if you follow us on Twitter and Facebook, you'll get to play live with us, and guess what's really cool? We can see the comments today. So what up? We're here, Joe, so that's cool. We can see the comments, so we can answer your questions. So uh, that's awesome. So follow us on Twitter and Periscope. Uh, we are MR2020 on both Twitter and Periscope. And uh, go to freedemple.com, get on the email list, get the good stuff and uh, dive deep because your life is extremely worth it. So today we're going to talk about three things when it comes to manifesting for other people because this is a goodie. If you really want to get out of your own way, you know, oftentimes people get in their own way because they're trying to figure out how it's going to happen. They're looking for signs. Uh, they're feeling some sort of anxiousness about it because it's important to them. And so manifesting for other people will help you get out of the habit of looking for signs and feeling anxious about it and hopeful, which gets in the way. Uh, and plus, it's just good fun. OK, why not manifest lovingly for others? You know, it's it's really cool. Now, we're going to talk about some things that uh, we don't see anybody else talking about out there, but it's really, really important when it comes to this stuff. So we get an email, right? So there's actually four things we're going to talk about today. So we get an email, thank you for the hearts, keep them coming, we love them. By the way, we can't believe how many hearts we get sometimes. It's just really, it's fun. Again, I don't know what they mean, but it just feels good and I guess helps us score better on Periscope so more people see it. So, and we want people to learn this stuff. So, we get these long letters. Honest to goodness, I, I just got one this morning. And it's like probably 20 minutes worth of reading if I actually read it. Uh, here's the thing, I won't. Okay, and there's some reasons why I won't read these 20 minute long letters. Uh, for me to read a 20 minute long letter where all this stuff is described, well, this was that, and that was this, and this thing happened. You know, if I've got to read a 20 page complaint about how, why my life sucks and do you think this can help, I have to imagine that. Okay, you can't read something without somewhat imagining it. Okay, so here's the thing. If you write me a 20 minute article about how many problems you have and say, I just want to be better. What do you think? Uh, I've got to go through. You've got to imagine it all first to write it. I've got to imagine it somewhat while reading it. And then uh, I get to the point where it's like, well, you know, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, better or for all of it to go away isn't enough. So uh, I love when people say hi to each other. Cool. Hi, Tamika. So. We, we, we want to first establish this parameter. Uh, don't send us 20 minute monologues about your problems. For you to do that, you've got to live it. We don't want you to live that one more time. Okay, stop it. Okay, yeah, if you ask us, hey, can I create financial freedom with this? Yes. Yeah, can I create, uh, can I manifest a good relationship with this? Yes. <laughs> okay, can I move around the world with this? Yes. Okay, we, we, you can, we've done all that stuff. So, uh, Lewis, love you, buddy. It's been a long time. So nice to see you here. So, the, the when 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 you get this stuff, you, you get that this monologue isn't important. What's important is can it work? Yes. I, you, all of your obstacles. You know, believe me. I mentioned my obstacles because, you know, I want you to know this works. And I mentioned them briefly. Born at, uh, three months early, two pound four ounces. Beat to death in 1989. Camp Hill prison riots. Been broke a couple times. Been uh, making good money a couple times. Uh, now finally got a whole bunch of things together because I fully bought the pearl of great price. Now, so skip to the end. What do you choose to have? Notice I'm not even saying what do you want? What do you choose to have in your life? What do you choose to have more of in your life? Uh, that's where we want you to write us from. Okay, number two. So let's say you write us and you send a nice little thing saying, hey, do you think I could manifest a really good spouse and financial security? And of course we write back, yes. Okay, we've done that. Okay, we can speak authority authoritatively from that because we've done it. Now, here's the thing. We're not going to just imagine that you get the spouse and the security. Okay, that would be focusing on the stuff. Now, now, get this. This is really important. 
if we just focus on the stuff, you're going to get the stuff. Maybe. Or maybe you'll get it and you won't be able to keep it. See, we, we primarily imagine three things for people. Okay, the one that we imagine last is the stuff. Oh, can I have the relationship? Yeah, we're going to imagine you in a lovely relationship. Next. Uh, can you imagine me being financially free? Sure, absolutely. What would that be like for you? Tell us a little bit about it. And we'll imagine that, right? But the thing is, you're not going to keep it. And you're not going to accept it unless you feel it to the point of conviction and unless you know this stuff works. Okay, how many times do people win the lottery and lose it all because they've got screwed up insides? Okay, we'll just call it insides for now, okay? But think about this. If you don't believe, okay, if you're not living from the point of conviction, it, it doesn't matter if it's there, you're going to lose it. You've got to live from the point of conviction, of honest to God knowing this is what I've chosen in my life. Okay, this is what I have felt is real already. Yeah, noticing that it actually works helps. Okay, and it does. Yeah, everything in my life I have felt real at one point in time or another. Okay, you, you've got to get this whole thing where uh, you get the point of conviction. And there's two points of conviction. One, I am who I've chosen to be. I'm where I've chosen to be. I'm doing what I've chosen to do. Guess what? <laughs> I'm there. Okay, I've had a heck of an adventure getting here, but I've assumed this state and remain faithful to it, and here I am. So that's one conviction, okay? No matter what the historical, physical world tells you, remain true to your conviction. Number two, you've got to be convinced this stuff works. If you're going, well, I hope it works, and I hope I get it, you're going to manifest this state called hope, and you will live the rest of your life in hope until you decide, I can't hope anymore, I can't handle this, and then you quit. But the thing is, you can't quit because you're either going to do this deliberately and consciously and effectively or not. And if you're going to do it deliberately, consciously and effectively, learn how it works. OK, this is one of the things we love about Neville. Neville's family has been doing this since the early 1900s that we know of. OK, they've you know, you, you can Google them, Google them. The, you know, you can find out stuff about the Goddard family empire on Barbados. And whenever you listen to Neville's stories or read Neville's lectures and he references how his brother manifested the building and that his father sat in the Burbese chair all the time every morning and played the day ahead. OK, we have our own Burbese chair here, by the way. We manifested that for fun. OK, uh, it's right behind me or it's actually right in front of it's behind you, <laughs> whatever that means with this. But. It, it, you've got to be convinced that this works, okay? It, just notice what you, what you feel becomes real, okay? You don't got to buy into anything else. Just notice what you feel becomes real. Just listen to the people around you. Notice what they feel. Notice what becomes, quote-unquote, real in their world. And there's plenty of evidence right there, okay? We've got hundreds of success stories on the site as well. Go read those. So that's at freenibble.com. So play to the point of conviction. And again, here's where we're going to get back to manifesting us manifesting for you. We imagine that you feel conviction. We imagine that you feel the conviction that this works. We imagine that you feel conviction that you are who you've chosen to be, that you have what you've chosen to, to have. Okay. We imagine conviction in you because without imagining conviction in you, we could imagine you get the car and then you're going to get the car and go, oh, that was nice. It was just a fluke. I hope it continues to keep working. All right. Then it all falls apart. We imagine you having the level of conviction that we have. Do you hear it in my voice? It's there because I've got it. Okay, and again, this is why time for a crass commercial message. If you hate capitalism or people selling things, turn off now. Okay, this is why we produced Manifesting Mastery. This is how we've changed our lives around. We took 90 days of our play and put it into a course. It's 97 bucks. People say, oh, I can never afford that. Where do you live? Okay, give up a coffee a day. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, the, the whole thing is you've got to experience what will give you conviction. You have to assume the state of conviction. You have to decide, you know what, this is it. There's no other burning, the, there's no other way out. And as soon as you do that, your life changes. So let's do a quick recap, call it a day. Any questions, toss them up real quick. While I'm recapping and we'll hit your questions, the, uh, you know, bang, right? <laughs> so number one, 
Okay, don't send us long emails with all this crap that happened in your life. Believe me, I could write it. Uh, yeah, I could write a book on the crap that happened in my life. I'll just give you quick highlights to let you know. You know what? This works for people that are born premature, sick until they're 12. It works for people that are beat to death and have PTSD that have lost their mind. Okay, been there, done that. This works for people that get married and divorced and lose everything and start with 13 crates of crap and a little computer. Okay, that's how I got started online, by the way. I had 13 crates of crap and a little computer. Okay, <laughs> this stuff can move you around the world. Been there, done that. So th th there's, there's my stuff, right? To state beyond the wish fulfilled conviction that this stuff works. Bingo. So number one, okay, you know, uh, don't send us the long letters with a little thing saying, I just want things to change. Okay, tell us a tiny bit about what do you want? What do you choose to have in your life? Number two, we're not going to imagine just the stuff for you. We're going to imagine you feeling this level of conviction and the convictions being this stuff works and I am what I've chosen to be. I have what I've chosen to have. Okay, because if you don't have those feelings, you can't possibly hold on to this stuff. Get it? This is rock solid gold. Again, this is why we do what we do. So anything else that I missed something? I may have missed something. I'll start closing up and if anybody wants to toss anything in, we'll take it. So visit us at freenevil.com, F-R-E-E-N-E-V-I-L-L-E.com. Uh, I need those to stand with me. I don't know what that means. Keep going. The, uh, so uh, visit us at freenevil.com. Get on the email list. If you want to dive in deep, join us in Manifesting Mastery. It's a buck a day. Oh. <laughs> okay. Believe me, it's, it, read the success stories. We've got little tiny things you can get too, where we break apart Neville's lectures, like a $7 ebook, where we break apart a whole lecture into like 75 lessons. Uh, that's either Power of Freedom, I forget which, but it's good stuff. So uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us everywhere, because uh, you never know where we'll pop up next. Again, my name is Mr. 2020. That's where Victoria should be, and Emmett. Emmett's currently in his bed. We had a two hour walk in the rain this morning. It was awesome. I came home, cleaned up, and here we are. So I've heard for others. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, hear of other people's success. Okay? But again, you know, don't just hear about the success. Hear the conviction in their voice. Honest to God. We, we watch people all the time succeed and then crash because they don't keep conviction. You've got to keep conviction with this. By the way, can you tell? I've sold out on everything else. I use NLP to take this stuff apart. Okay, I'm not a guy out there teaching NLP. I use Native American wisdom skills and awareness that, that I explored for like 20 years. You know, living primitively in the woods and studying cool philosophy bits that I learned from old, you know, interesting shamanic kind of people. Okay, I apply that to this. I use that to explore this. Because this is what matters, living with this power of conviction. I've given up all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, like Neville did. Neville was an astrologer. He was a good astrologer, but he learned something. He figured out whenever he was giving a reading, he was imagining something as real and feeling convinced it would happen. That's why his readings turned out so good. Okay? <laughs> hey, by the way, imagine being an astrologer and going, oh man, you've got problems with men. <laughs> and you get that firmly convinced and, you know, boy, you just screwed someone. <laughs> and you. Okay? That, that This stuff works. Feel it real. Again, my name is Mr. 2020. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends. Follow us on Facebook and drop us an email at 2020 at xhostage.com. By the way, okay, here's one I need others to help with, what I want for me and with and for me. You know what? No, you don't. Okay? It's nice that other people will join in, okay, and, and imagine for you. But if you imagine you need others, Okay, you've just created a scenario where you need others. Get it? I am more than willing to imagine lovingly for anyone. But again, I, but I always nail this crap because this is the stuff that will kill you. I need others' help? No, you don't. You're one with God just like I am. Okay, I happen to notice it. You know, you know God's not this hairy guy up in the sky. God is consciousness. God is actually what gives birth to consciousness. That's what we are. Okay, when you notice what you are is consciousness, what animates the meat suit, what animates all of reality out there, okay, life changes big time. Uh, can others be of assistance to you? Seeming others? Sure, absolutely. I'll carry the conviction for you. But I'm imagining that you have the conviction that we do. This is where it rocks. Okay, God, I'm really loving being able to see the comments and stuff. Thank you. I, I don't know who said that because you know, they come and they go pretty quick. But... Uh, Thank you for tossing it up. You'll be blessed by that. So countless other people. 
Thank you for all the hearts. Again, my name is Mr. 2020. Have a wonderful day and time to start rocking and rolling on our next project. See ya.